Let's get a look at the forecast. We have meteorologist Robert Sir here. And, you know, Robert, I've heard some rumors that, you know, you're not that bad of a golfer yourself. Those rumors are true. Those rumors <laughs> are true. But, you know, when we had that shot of Rogers, you saw the amp. It was quiet tonight. Tomorrow, back-to-back -to -back concerts by, forgive me if I'm saying this incorrectly, Peso Pluma is mm. going to be at the, uh, the AMP tomorrow night and Monday night as well. So AMP will be all lit up tomorrow night, uh, and it should be a good night for a concert uh, with little in the way of rainfall and pretty comfortable temperatures. Now, temperatures in August were not very comfortable. It was a warm month uh, at all three major reporting stations. As you can see, above average temperatures. Uh, in fact, Drakefield and Fayetteville and Fort Smith each had their 11th warmest August on record. Precipitation, though, was a different story. Very wet at X and A based on the patterns that we have. If you remember how wet early August was, Drake Field, the numbers fall substantially, but still just barely above average. But look at Fort Smith, an inch below average. So a huge swing in just about a hundred mile distance between X and A and Fort Smith. So location really, really did mean something for precipitation in August. Now, in Fayetteville today, we got up to 95 degrees, a warm day. 9 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year. We're losing about a degree a day now off our average temperatures as we're losing less and less daylight. Fort Smith is quiet now, but you got up to 95 as well. Their average temperatures are still in the 90, so you were just 4 degrees above average. Thankfully, though, nowhere near 109 set back 22 years ago on this date. Uh, temperatures right now not too bad, still a little bit on the warm side. Uh, mid to upper 70s and some lower 80s right now. Uh, meanwhile, in the River Valley, uh, also on the warm side, uh, widespread about 79 or 80 degrees or so, so not too bad. Big picture shows things are relatively quiet. We do have an upper level system here kind of spinning around. It's trying to throw moisture our way and increase our moisture in the atmosphere as well. Quiet tonight and quiet tomorrow morning, except an increase in some high level cloudiness. But as we go through the day, we get some daytime heating. The atmosphere destabilizes a little bit. Then we could see the development of some widely scattered weak pop up showers or a weak thunderstorm. Sunsets, those go away. We kind of clear back out and we should be relatively quiet waking up on Monday morning. A little bit warmer than last night, upper 60s and lower 70s, and then highs tomorrow will be a little bit warmer than they were today. Uh, widespread 90s uh, for just about everybody else. But as we take a look at the week ahead, uh, not too bad. Despite all of those off and on rain chances, they are very, very low, but keep that in mind. But I don't think your Labor Day holiday will be a washout by any means in Northwest Arkansas or the River Valley. Uh, watching some more shower and storm chances for the River Valley as we go through the upcoming week. Stay with us. We are going to revisit the Hogs' big first win of the season after the break. <laughs>